We live? All right. Let's we'll wait for some people to, to hop on. We just went live. What's up, everybody? I don't know if there's anybody on or not right now. But what's going on? So this is our first show, I guess you would say, together as a band. And uh, we're pretty excited about it. We on, Jules? All right, cool. All right, so uh, we're going to call these the Basement quarantine sessions and uh you know we're we're trying to stay apart from each other i probably should have wore a mask because not even if not even because of corona just because of him no. so uh we're gonna play a few songs for you today and uh maybe give you some entertainment in these crazy times that we're living in um i guess i guess we can just go ahead and jump into it we think good, good. All right, we're going to start out with an upbeat one. This song is called Like a Rodeo. And all these songs, except for maybe the very last one, are original songs. So hopefully you all enjoy it. Uh, so this one's called Like a Rodeo.
That's a fun, upbeat one. All right, so uh, we're just going to jump back into an, another song here. Uh, that song was kind of a country-sounding song, but we've kinda, we kind of have a bunch of different sounds with our music. So this next song is more of a rock-sounding song, but it's a, it's a song about leaving the past in the past. Um, a lot of people think that, you know, because they lived a really bad life um, in the past, that um, they're too far gone, that, you know, God can't love them. Um, and this is a song saying, you know, God um, God can reach any sinner. He can reach anybody. It doesn't matter how far you, you are going. And, uh, so it's called Yesterday is Gone. <clears throat> guitar player, one of the best that I've ever I've ever known. Um, his name is Brandon McGuire. Over here, guitar. And over here on my left is a multi-talented individual. Uh, he can he's playing the drums right now, but he also is a singer-songwriter. He uh, he plays the guitar, he plays the keyboard, he can do it all. Uh, this is Jonathan Sanchez right here on the drums. And then my name is Wes Metcalf, and I'm just a singer-songwriter. I'm not as talented as these guys. Oh, whatever. But, uh, He's alright. He's awesome. No. He's awesome. Okay, so uh, we're going to slow down this next one. This next song is called Memories. And this is a song that, it's one of the first ones that I ever wrote, and it means a lot to me. So uh, ho hopefully you all enjoy it.
Where Christ is king and church bells ring and folks go in, folks feel seen like amazing grace. So this is a song uh, that I wrote about, you know, I've known a bunch of people that have struggled with addictions and all kinds of different things in their life. And, uh, and you know, I, I was heading down that same road and it could have very easily happened to me, uh, but because of the grace of God uh, who saved me, I'm not in those positions. And, um, you know, he... He's, the cross is um, enough for anyone whoever, whoever's struggling with addiction or anything like that just know that the blood of Jesus can cover all sins and he can break that addiction so just uh, that's what this song's about it's just one drink What he thought the first time he gave it. One turned to two, which led to a few. Years of bad decisions, and now he sits at a bar and swears that this is the last time.
next to him and they just start talking and so that old man is giving the young man some advice and what re- he's giving him some advice on what really matters in life
two names so you all you all can help us okay i think we're either going to be called uh De defying gravity okay so whichever one you like please comment in the comment section either call to post, call to post um, or defying gravity Defying, okay, she said explaining behind them. Defying gravity is, actually Jonathan, there's a song that, that Jonathan heard, what was the artist? John Elefante. John Elefante sings Defying Gravity, and we were just like, well, that sounds awesome. It would be a cool band name. So there's not really any deep meaning behind that one. But call to post, me and Brandon here both work at the post office. So we're, both, we're both postmen. And also, the call to post is um, at the Kentucky Derby when the horses, they're calling the horses to the post to start the race. So it's the beginning of the race. So uh, there you go. There's the reasoning. So you all just comment on which ones that you like the best. So let's play some more music. This next one is Somebody to Love. <laughs>
out of this song, but I know, hopefully it'll sound okay. And this song is a good song for this time in our, for these crazy times that we live in with the coronavirus and everything that's going on. Um, a lot of people are scared. And they're fearful. Uh, but we need to know that God is sovereign and he will never leave us or forsake us is what the Bible says. And so that's what this song is about. Uh, the song's called You Never Will. Fear is but a tired yearning for control. Counselor, way maker, giver of peace. You won't forsake me, no. Even when the tide is going 
maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, way maker, miracle worker. And the guy wants to, he wants to be a musician, but the wife, or not the wife, the girlfriend wants him to just get a regular job just so he can, you know, pay the bills. Um, but he's got a dream and he wants to chase it. And so he ends up doing that instead of leaving the girl. <laughs> That's what this song's about. Just who I am. Working dead nine to five, something I just can't stand. And she told me get a real job, put down the guitar. She wants a man who provides.
good, John? Yeah, man. All right. You good? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's keep going. All right, this one is it's called Maybe One Day. It's really just a song about peace. Here we go. This one's an original, though. This one's called Forgiven. Yeah. 
Yes, I really thought that I could escape from this madness all on my own. Yes, I really thought that I was in bunny. cover song, so hopefully I don't mess it up too bad. It's, uh, it's a song that I'm sure everybody knows if you listen to K-Love or anything at all. It's called Reckless Love.
that's our show. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. And uh, once again, this is Brandon McGuire on the electric guitar. This is Jonathan Sanchez killing the drums back there. And I'm Wesley Metcalf. And we are undetermined. Hopefully you all left some comments. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're one of two things. Either define gravity or call to post. So leave a comment. All right. We'll see you all later. Thanks.